what happened was not really that my physical structure changed, but my spirit became new. I became a new person as I put my faith in the Lord Jesus. My sins are washed away. Um, I, I finally knew that I was completely at peace with God and there was no more struggle and there was nothing more I could do. It was just such a relief to know that it was all cleared and there was nothing I had to do. Because you have peace with God, you have peace with yourself and with your, with your people, with people. I felt forgiveness uh, from God. So initially it was just that joy that you've been freed. You know, you just have this sense of freedom and also just putting things in perspective and that reading the Bible became something that I really enjoyed doing. It wasn't a storybook anymore. It was just like seeing life through the Word of God. What happened is more and more as every day goes by, I find myself uh, gravitating towards more and more towards the church actually and more and more towards you know, um, praising and worshipping him. Where I was living for myself before, I, I turned around to, to live for God and for, for others. I found a church, I got baptised and I started to serve in the church. Becoming a Christian is a change in your life and you want to walk with the Lord and you want to make sure people know that. Uh, so baptism is a sign of obedience and it marks for you maybe the start of a new life. Um, it wasn't a, a big, like, magical change or anything, but I think I definitely felt a sense of, um, you know, I, I know I've done something important. I, I was only 13 when I became a Christian. Um, I got signed up, actually, to do a Christianity Explored course, which might sound funny, um, but it was a good thing to do. It, it got me reading Mark's Gospel, um, helped me understand who Jesus was better. The Bible became gradually more and more real. I really love my Bible. I started pursuing to be a missionary, to, to serve others, to tell others about Jesus. I did uh, a lot of music so, uh, ministry in my church. Uh, I, I helped with a lot of the children's work in my local church, um, as well as doing other things like serving on teas and coffees, but I just wanted to be useful in the church. But sharing, sharing that grandeurful experience and fact and relationship with, God, with others. I also prayed a lot for courage to be able to tell other people, especially my friends, because I felt quite nervous about that. Big question, what's the Christian life all about? Um, <laughs> uh, serving Jesus, I guess, would be the, the heart of it. Christian life is about glorifying God. To be his servant and follow him everywhere. The only life worth living, because it's about somebody else who's much greater than me looking for, for God's way that he wants you to lead your life, not you in command making the decisions, but following God's lead. It's a way of, it's a way of love, but it's a way of honouring and uh, glorying in Jesus. It's about becoming more Christ-like day by day. And that happens by learning from him, listening to his word and taking that teaching on board. I don't know, it's like every part of you just becomes, am I living for God? It's about putting God at the center. No, <laughs> no, it's not easy, no, no. People outside pressurizing you to thinking you're weird for doing something. And so none of us wants to take that, uh, the emotional pain of being opposed or being laughed at. Putting Christ at the center of everything you do and that is not an easy task. I fail. I fail every day. The Bible says there's an enemy and when you swap sides from him he's very really angry and he wants to win you back so he will stir up all that old thinking and then none of us wants to be unpopular uh, and to be a Christian in the West today is to be in a minority. You're living in the same world as everyone else, you're having the same issues as everyone else um, but on the other hand the good news is that you have Jesus Christ. I've always found that Jesus has been true to his word. He's, he's given me the strength each day to go on. It's not easy, but it's definitely worth it.